You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. The World Endurance Championship was launched with the participation of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, leader of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the Italian city of Pizza. In addition, four other Bahraini riders take, took part in the championship amid competitions between 80 riders representing 32 countries from around the world for a distance of 16 kilometers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser led the riders of the Royal Team that includes the jockeys Ja'far Mirza, Abdurrahman Al Zayed, Raid Mahmoud, and Manal Fakhrawi in the championship as a team implemented His Highness's instructions and the plan that was drawn up before the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini participation in the World Endurance Championship reflects the position of the Bahraini endurance sport and its distinguished presence in all global events, indicating that the first stages were strong and exciting competitions among all participants, reflecting the difficulty of the race and competition that will continue until the sixth and final stage. His Highness wished the Royal Team the best of luck in achieving the best results. The stages of the race were held in the midst of rain in a cold climate and before the race started, His Highness Sheikh Nasser met with the riders of the royal team, where His Highness reviewed the technical plan with the riders and how to apply it in the best way. His Highness Sheikh Nasser participated in the race with the Horus Kalandria, Abdurrahman Al Zayed with Avil Du Park, Manal Fakhrawi with Hera Doranises, and Jafar Mirza with G. Bangsir Al Vovar, and Raed Mahmoud with Babel. The competitions will continue until the evening with six stages of excitement and intense competition between the participants and the tournament. Led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team arrived in Pizza, Italy yesterday. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was ranked among the best in various international and European championships, securing third place in the World Championship held in Slovakia in 2016. His Highness Sheikh Nasser possesses the experience and required skills that reflect positively on his leadership of the team that is aspiring to achieve top ranking positions. Sheikh Nasser has earlier asserted his full readiness to compete in the World endurance championship after completing an intense daily training program to reach the required physical and technical readiness to compete in the championship, hoping to achieve a better outcome than world championship in Slovakia. His Highness has added that his training program was based on endurance due to technical considerations related to the 160-kilometer race, which requires physical and mental preparation, different from other races. His Highness has indicated that he has the determination to affirm his position after the great success he achieved from participating in previous tournaments, wishing success to the royal team. 
The Royal Endurance team yesterday participated in the veterinary examination procedures for the World Endurance Championship being held in Italy. The Royal Team for Endurance is led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Royal Endurance Team Captain His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and includes four riders Mirza Abdurrahman, Zaid, Raid Mahmoud and Manal Fakhrawi. 80 riders from 32 countries are participating in the championship. Royal Team members participated in the veterinary examination of the participating horses. All horses of the Royal Team successfully passed the exam with the team at full preparation to compete to achieve the best results under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The vet exam stages took place smoothly due to all good organizations and the royal team participated in the process of weighing and numbering the horses. For his part, the director of the royal team, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan, participated in the technical meetings of the tournament that was held in the championship village in the presence of representatives of the participating teams. The organizing committee praised the cooperation of all the teams participating in the championship and their keenness to implement all the committee's get guidelines to ensure that the race is held in the best organizational form. Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf has inspected Phase 4 of the Tubli Wastewater Plant Expansion Project in order to be informed about its progress. Works Under Secretary Ahmed Abdelaziz Al Khayyab and Assistant Under Secretary for Sanitization Ibrahim Hassan Al Hawaj were also present. The minister said that the project is among the Works Ministry's major strategic sanitation projects aimed at enhancing the performance of the Tubli Wastewater Plant and increasing the production of treated water used in irrigation and agricultural beautification. The project aims to accommodate the increase flow of wastewater taking the average daily flow capacity of 200,000 cubic meters per day to reach a full average daily flow capacity of 400,000 cubic meters per day. During the visit, the minister stressed the need to adhere to the occupational health and safety requirements at work sites by taking all preventative measures and applying safety standards during the implementation period under the supervision of the ministry's engineers to ensure the safety of workers at the project and to add to the project's milestone of achieving two million and a half hours without injuries. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, issued decisions amending the necessary health requirements to contain and prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The new decisions include the restriction of access for only those who are vaccinated or those who recovered and are over the age of 18 to sports facilities, massage parlors, cinemas, pools, indoor swimming pools, beauty salons, in addition to commercial and industrial shops. People will have to present a document evidencing their eligibility or through the Be Aware application. The Minister also issued decisions regarding restaurants and cafes, limiting the Indoor services to those who have been vaccinated or those recovered and are over the age of 18. The minister exempted from applying the decision to commercial and industrial shops that are located outside the malls. The chief executive officer of government hospitals stressed that the occupancy rates at Selmania Medical Complex are among the limits of the usual rates, which range from 70 to 80 percent. This is because of the tremendous efforts of the medical staff to address the coronavirus and the expansion of the capacity to continue to provide the highest level of medical services in light of facing the pandemic. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 872,025 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 673,132 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 19,827 with 1,560 recoveries and 2,858 registered new cases. 957 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 1,882 were contacts of active cases and 19 were travel related. The ministry announced eight deaths from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.